Hi guys, Yasas Kekalos Tirtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make my version of a quick and easy vegetable fried rice. This is an Asian style recipe that I like to make instead of ordering takeout because it's simple, it's so clean because you're making it at home with really high quality ingredients, you know what's in it. And it tastes absolutely delicious. Let's get started. So you're going to want to prep everything ahead of time because the recipe comes together in like 15 minutes. So you want to make sure that everything is ready to go. So add an onion. I just went ahead and I finally chopped an onion and I'm adding it to a big pot with about a quarter of a cup of olive oil and a little pinch of salt. Cook the onion until it's nice and soft and golden. But while that's happening, you can, you can do that on a low heat so you can prepare the remaining ingredients. So I went ahead and I finally sliced seven scallions. You could do six or seven scallions. Thinly slice them and the best way to clean them is once they're sliced, you put them in a bowl of cold water and you swish them around Then you carefully lift them out and you put them in a strainer to get rid of all of that excess water. Set it aside. Next, go ahead and add four eggs to a little mixing bowl or a little pitcher. Add a little bit of salt to them and whisk them all up and set those aside. I've also measured out four cups of mixed frozen veggies. I like to use the frozen veggies that come in the pack of uh, corn, peas, string beans and carrots. I feel like they go really well in this recipe and I always have a big bag in my freezer. So I have a four cup measuring cup pitcher. I just filled it all the way up to the top. You don't have to thaw them out. Then we're going to combine all of the ingredients for the sauce that's going to give this vegetable fried rice all of its flavor. In a little pitcher, I went ahead and added a third of a cup of cocoa aminos. I like to use cocoa aminos instead of soy sauce. Soy does not agree with me. If you like soy sauce, you can use a third of a cup of soy sauce two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, and two to three tablespoons of rice vinegar. And you can also add a few tablespoons of sriracha if you want for a little a kick of spice. Whisk that all up and set that aside. So once the onions are soft and golden, I just went ahead and added five or six garlic cloves that I've grated, just warm them through. And then I have a bag of shredded cabbage. This is actually coleslaw mix that's ready to go. I'm just gonna add this in and then just toss it around until it's nice and soft. You don't have to get it fully, fully cooked. At this point, I'm gonna add the frozen veggies, just a little salt and black pepper to flavor each layer. And we're just gonna cook these over medium high heat until they're thawed. You don't want these to wilt up and get mushy. You want everything to kind of hold its shape and have a little bite to it. Maybe two or three minutes should do it. You could also add a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes if you want. So while the veggies are cooking, I'm just gonna scramble up the eggs. You wanna make sure that they're fully cooked. You could add some butter or some olive oil to a big frying pan and get it over medium heat. Once it's nice and hot, add the egg mixture to it and just scramble them up until they're fully cooked. And they're gonna sit in the frying pan right now until the rice and everything goes in. So they'll cook a little bit more than this. So over here I have day old rice that's been cooked. Uh, I always use basmati rice, so that's what I have. But you can use brown rice, you can use your favorite white rice, like a Carolina rice. Whatever you have will work for this. Anywhere between five to six cups will do, even four cups will be enough. So add the rice with the sauce. This is gonna add all of the flavor. Mix it all up and toss it together. I have also made this with fresh rice before. Like I just cooked uh, rice up in a rice cooker and I added it at the last minute. I don't always have day old rice. So you can use fresh rice for this too. It will definitely work. So I feel like I added extra rice. I'm just gonna add a little bit more cocoa aminos to this and some more crushed red pepper flakes. Next, you can add all of the scallions and the eggs. And that's it, literally in no time, the meal is ready. I'm just gonna mix this up and break up the chunks of rice that are left here and there, and then it'll be ready to serve. So just like that, the vegetable fried rice is ready. Literally, it comes together in like 15 minutes. From start to finish, I think everything takes 30 minutes, so you can get this on the table on any busy weeknight. It's also a really nice party food to make for like a kid's birthday party, just because it's so easy to make and you could do all of the prep ahead of time. If you want to, you could also throw some chicken in here. You could pan fry some shrimp. You can make like a shrimp and vegetable fried rice. The options are endless. I hope you give it a try. It smells so good, it's time for the taste test. And I do like to drizzle a little bit of sriracha on top. Mm. So good. Beats any fast food restaurant, if you ask me. Tastes so fresh and delicious, and it's really healthy too. 
I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website. If you would like the recipe for my Asian shrimp and broccoli, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.